am honestly so grateful that my fishing endeavours have allowed me to travel to remote and exotic locations all over Australia and the world chasing species of fish that as a kid I could only dream of catching. As time goes on, I realise it's during the simple sessions around my local, chasing the humble brim and flathead, that I find myself reflecting on the experiences I've been able to have in my life thanks to a passion that started from a very young age. This has led me to want to return to the species that started it all, the humble brim. In a place known for its beautiful food, stunning landscape and unique wildlife, (laughs) and its oversized brim. Thanks, man. Cheers, bro. Bye. Bye. Oh, it's booked. <laughs> going tomorrow. Where are we going? <laughs> oh, you're going to think I'm an idiot, but uh, really? yeah, tomorrow we are flying out and we're going to Tasmania. And I mean, there's a lot of great fish down there. There's tuna, the big trumpeter. Also, no, we're going to catch a broom. I know, mate, I have always wanted my whole life to catch a two kilo bream or thereabouts. My PB is about 1.2 kilos, which is a good fish, but it's no monster. There's much bigger ones out there. They're a cool fish, trust me. Yeah? yeah? You don't trust me, do you? (laughs) I know, it's a lot of money, a long way to go, just for a brim, but Tassie's the place, mate. So that's where we're going. So pack your bags, bro. And by the way, apparently in the morning, it's 10 degrees when we go out. In the middle of the day, it's 32 degrees. No. Yes, yeah, so you could dress for the cold and for the, I know, I know. Uh, what have I done? Anyway, we'll see how it goes. Should be good. So we're in beautiful Hobart. We've made it down. First stop though is food, definitely food. And I'm gonna take Will here, our camera operator, to the best lasagna of his life. And if we can't get one of them, because I reckon we might be a bit late, we're gonna suss out a scallop pie. And if you've never had one of these Tasmanian curry scallop pies, well, get your butts down here and try it because it is absolutely magnificent. And then tomorrow is all about the fishing. We'll just enjoy the surrounds for now. Come on, food. You hungry? Yeah. <laughs> Come on then. Why aren't they here? Hi, oh, you, you, I believe you're the manager. Uh, no, manager already finished. Oh, actually. really? Yes. yes. We, I was here about uh-huh. six months ago. Yes. I had the best lasagna of my life. Oh, right? It was amazing. And I know the story how uh-huh. the people that used to have this. Mm-hmm. Although, yeah, anyway, we've just flown in from the Gold Coast. Yes. We're filming. Yes. We're doing a whole heap of different things. And I've mm-hmm. actually said on the film, I'm coming to this place yes. because of the lasagna. Is there any way uh-huh. the boys can do two lasagnas for me and my friend here? Now? Right now. No. It's got to heat it up. Is- no, because the chef finished. He's gone, is So, he? yeah, uh, the boys don't know how to make it. Sorry. So that's what chef. Chef finished earlier. Macca's. Yeah. Macca's. I might have a Macca's. All right, maybe on the last day we'll come back and see if we can yeah. get the lasagna. It's the best lasagna I've ever had in my life. All right, let's get a decent chunk on here. Oh, there's, oh, look at it, look at it. Still got the row on it, scallop. Let's give it a go, a little bit of crust. Oh, good, hot. Oh, good, good. Mm. Mm. I'll go one of the 280s, one of them ones. Can yeah. I put one of these on? Yeah. No, 
Oh, yeah, I have one colour. You sent me four. Oh, I took the same colour. Uh, yeah, I've got surface some. one of these? Yeah. Yeah. Any particular colour? Not overly, no. Probably that white one. Yeah, this bit. one here? Yeah, white one. Yeah. yeah. Give you a bit more visibility. Okay. No, well, it's supposed to be three to six knots, mate, not 20 to 30. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's getting up there. <laughs> the weather man wasn't quite right. Is it going to be all right, you reckon? Yeah, it'll be fine. Get out of, of it. Yeah, plenty of bays to be able to push into and get out of the way. So yeah, it's always escape. It can get windy as it wants, but it's always somewhere. So I've never been this excited to go broom fishing. I've got to tell you, no, it's a big fish in here, eh? That's why you're excited. What's your PV in here? Uh, my PV is 45 to the fork and 49 tip. Yeah, but weight. Uh, weight about 2.2 kilos away. 2.2 kilos. Mm. Boy. Wow. Well, I did some research yesterday. The biggest one ever caught in Australia is 4.45 kilos. Mm, I've seen that. I've seen one up at Scamander that was nine pounds. So Really? Mm. Wow. I just Big want to beat my PB. 1.2. If I can beat my PB on this trip, I will be one very happy camper. Uh, but we're not going to do it sitting here, are we? Exactly right. Let's go fishing now. He's done, mate. All right. Put your stuff away. You've never. never seen anyone fish here before? No, other than myself and my mate, that's it. Never. That's there you go. insane. It's just How non existent. Good is that? It's that's awesome, why isn't it? it has no pressure. Exactly. It that's why it always fishes good. Bit. Exactly. And it's a massive food source for them. Yeah. Oh, mate, I am jumping out in skins. I've got to say, let's get to see how far I can cast that thing. Yeah, I'll see that. Beautiful. Um, yeah. I'm very excited, mate. The potential to catch a massive brim is definitely any cast could 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 be the one. Be a, yeah. Yeah, these look good. These little oh, they swim so well. How long do you pause them for? Uh, I can couple sometimes. Of seconds. I, I normally I can actually pause lures for like 20 seconds. Yep. And as it comes, and they'll just sit on the surface and they'll still come up and eat it. Exactly. What's it called? It's the realist minnow, isn't it? Realist minnow. Uh, minnow 80. They're such a good looking But generally big pause. It's weird, sometimes their mood, a lot of times if they follow it, you can sit there consistent just twitching it to get them fired up and on that pause they'll eat it. Sometimes big pauses. Second gas. Ale's on the pause too. Got that? Yeah. Uh, grab that. Yeah, that'll work. Oh. So that's our third <laughs> cast. He's on. And for a, what a start. Awesome. I always judge them. If they're not taking line, they're not a real big one. Not big enough. That's okay. But that's a start. Mate, that is a start. And, and you, there was no mucking around. He just absolutely smashed it. Beautiful. Thanks, man. Awesome. Well done. Man. Back home on the tweed, I'd go, oh, that's a cracker. <laughs> Woohoo! Yeah! Woo! <laughs> that's how you're awesome. Um, wow. That's a good start. He'd only be like, I don't know. Maybe 30. 30 to the fourth maybe, but he's, um, but you can already tell like the weight in this fish compared to back home. Yeah, they're built bulky. Yeah, and the black bream in particular, uh, a heavier fish. That's everything. Beautiful, beautiful fish. His nose is starting to get that blue. Blue nose for him. Yeah, gorgeous. What a start. All right, buddy. Thanks, mate. Small fish. Oh, in the top of the head. Good guy. No, no, nah, nah, lift him. It's okay though. It's still fun. It's like a two fish already. <laughs> yeah, a little guy, yeah. but. Will was telling us before that he had a session. Was it before Christmas in December? Yeah, December. 220 brim in one session. And the <laughs> biggest one went 1.68, was it? Uh, 1.87. 1.87 kilos. Shut fish. up. That is ridiculous. That is a monster. It's a big boy. Oh, the flat.
flathead on it. Got him. Huge flathead. That actually is. I was catching flathead last week in the Tweed. I did not come to Tasmania. Get He's eating around. Yeah, he's all hooked on the belly. He sort of laid up on it. <laughs> Pretty fish though, look at that. Look at the spots on him, he's gorgeous. He's not a fish. And it's always these little ones that are the ones that spike it mm. too. Come here, buddy. Up you come. Oh, well, that's an easy way to get the hook out. Get two over there. i lay him over on the side, you see. see Wow, look at him. It's actually almost like a red spot. Yeah, well, that's that is, a nice colour one. Yeah, it? that's like a... Look, and I reckon, like back home on the Tweed, that's definitely a slightly different shaped head. The colours of the spots are different. They're, they're almost like a um, the same colouring as like a red spot estuary cod. Oh yeah, the same pattern. Very interesting, yeah. Flick you up like this. Oh, there you go. He's just going to sit there for a bit until he works it out and off you go. Good one? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, he's a really good one, that one. Oh yeah, I can see him. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Listen to that. Oh, a lot better, that one. Drag go. <laughs> it might be colour, you know. Like, you've got four, got the same lure, you've got four. I've got, yeah. haven't had a touch. I have well, one little touch. Swap her over after this fish, I reckon. Yeah, it might be too much flash on this or something, I don't know. Let's see if we can double up. I'll take it a little bit easier than I should, but he's a good, he's a good fish, this one. He's a cracker. You got that net handy? Do you want a net um, in for you? Yeah, he's just there. Yeah, if you wouldn't mind, mate. Let's get this in. That's all <laughs> I'm good for at the moment. Net boy. Shut up, Will. He's net boy. Hey? You net boy. You yeah, net boy. Look yeah. at him, Jesus. Net, net bitch. Get out of the way, you big bastard. He's a bit dumb. Yeah, fat fish. Fat fish. Oh, nice. Mate, that's a cracking <laughs> fish. <laughs> He's I think that's there. almost my PB right there. <laughs> Look at that thing. He's awesome. He's a horse. Yeah, no, he's starting God. to get up there. He'd be over a kilo, no problem. He'd be up around the 1.2 mark. Yeah, that's my PB yeah, right there. And three. <laughs> Donkey. So I've been fishing for about 45 minutes. That's a cracker. Oh, you yeah, muck around with that. I'm fishing. <laughs> yeah, look at him. Oh, oh, look at that. It's <laughs> like a snapper. Mud snapper. They call him Tassie. Yeah. That's a cracker. Good boy. Goodness me. Shut up, Will. Cracker. <laughs> I can say that cracker. and it applies to two people now. <laughs> it's really good. Will the cameraman, Will the fisherman. So I love using these little Zerich trail weavers on, on brim. They swim so well and the hooks that they uh, have on here are so meaty, really strong hooks. I'll show you how I fish them. And it's just you walk on the dog, you can vary the speeds. Oh man, this sand flat looks amazing. So all I'm doing, rod tip down, 45 degree angle, and I'm just twitching that, twitch, 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 twitch and I'm watching that rod, that uh, lure, zig from side to side and then I pause and you can literally leave it up to 20 seconds like seriously often you'll they'll sit underneath it and just start kissing at it and get it going again and I'm moving it pretty quick at the moment but you can slow it down and just side to side nice and slow if you want to but I think this uh, just that little erratic sort of side to side action seems to Get them turned on a little bit. Nice long pause. Sit there and go again. And you'll actually, the great thing about fishing surface like this for brim 
is them coming up and kissing behind it. And if it's a real big one, the sound is just sensational. Now, when I say real big one, well, my biggest fish on surface would be about a kilo, maybe a smidgen under. Uh, and even that, like, I remember the kiss off the set. I'll never forget it, it was unreal. So uh, hopefully in these waters, getting my twitch on, get a big dog on surface, it'd just be a dream come true. Another go. Dude, tiny. How big was he? Very small. Oh, yes. First off. Oh, top water, baby. No kissing that time, he just smashed his it. Mates there, oh, man. he's got his mates on him. Yeah, get in there. His mate's bigger. Oh, he's coming, he's coming, he's gonna eat it. Looking at it. He's looking at it. He's a nice fish. Look at that, that clear water. That looks beautiful. Oh, beautiful, <sighs> mate. Oh, no. <laughs> He's a cracker off the top. <laughs> Look at him. Look at that. Cracker. Spot locked us here. Um, no, I will. Oh, it's at least that latch up. She's sitting at the bottom. Wow, thanks, bro. Look at that. That's right. What a weapon. That's a cool fish, man. That's great. No PB, but mate, still on top water. Beautiful. Beautiful fish. And his mate next to him, no doubt, was bigger. <laughs> he was a nice no. fish. Yeah, he was much bigger. So we could be coming into a bit of a spot here. Oh, that's exciting fishing, man. Paint itself. Oh, yes. See that little. Trail weaver hanging out of his mouth. Oh, to many people out there, it's just a stinky broom. But I gotta tell you, I think these are special fish. They're a sport fish on light gear, and the way you can hunt them in so many different ways just makes them exciting. I'm so stoked to be here in Tasmania. I've been wanting to do this, I'm gonna just put him in the live well. I wanna keep him. Keep him well. Here you go, buddy. I've been wanting to do this for probably 15, 20 years. Come down and catch real brim, big ones, in Tasmania. And here I am with Will. We're doing it, and I'm loving life. This is so good. You've got to get down here and try this. You'll love it. No, I'm busy fishing. <laughs> ah, brother, what is it? I'm fishing, bro. Oh, I can't hear it. Oh, no, it's gone wet. I can't do it. Hello. Hey, mate, how are you? I'm in Tasmania catching big brim. Yeah, 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 I just caught one on top water on a little surface, little nice fish. After a few hours sight casting to brim in this picturesque bay, we managed to catch and release a multitude oh, of sizable brim, as well as the winning. occasional flathead. <laughs> This was an awesome experience, although I was in search of something much larger. Oh, thanks, buddy. Do not be scared to cast these lures, no matter where you are in the country, right up into the shallows, because that's where so much food is for these fish. So I'm probably in about four inches of water there at the most, and all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do a couple of twitches, twitch, 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 just soft twitches, maybe three or four, and then a pause. Twitch, 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 that's it, and pause. Now I pause a little longer than Will. He'll do his like this, he'll twitch, 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 pause, twitch, twitch, twitch. So his pause is just a little bit shorter, and it's probably why I'm catching so many flathead, because flathead generally tend to eat when that lure is completely stationary and it's on the pause. So, but I just like getting a strike from a brim when the lure is stationary, because normally that's when they just crunch it. So you watch Will here, he's got twitch, twitch, three or four, twitch, twitch, use your little rod tip and pause, 
little pause, twist it again, and there's the fish. <laughs> a nice flathead. Mate, you are the brim whisperer. The wrong fisherman caught this. <laughs> right on cue. Thanks, mate. <laughs> yeah, but it really is as simple as that. And at first, you'll, you won't have the confidence. You'll think, ah, oh, I'm not catching fish, this is not working. Believe me, once you catch your first, second, the confidence will grow and you'll start catching them. We're gonna spot lock us here for some as well. Yeah, that's a dead weight, you know. Hasn't done the big run yet. It's roughly the same size again there. It's a nice oh. fish though. Yeah. It's certainly taking a lot more line. Oh, nice fish. Oh, oh yeah. 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 Again. Dude. Dude, yeah, Could, he's getting up there. That, he's getting up there very hot. Now how do we where, how do we weigh this fish? Oh, I've got a set of scales. Alright, let's weigh it just out of that interest. Can yeah. we do that? Easy done, yeah. I'll get stuff ready. Because if it's better than the PB, I mean that's something to celebrate right there. I don't reckon it is, but it's up there. Yeah, it's up. Chilo, so. That one's out. There's not much left of these barbs, so these hooks are coming out really easy now. Kilo to 1.1. 1.1. 100 grams short of the PB. 100 grams. <laughs> so close. Far out. It's a nice fish. Let's have a look at it. Curiosity on the brag, they probably 36, oh, yeah, 37 a... maybe. To the fork? Yeah. I'll probably get there roughly. Well, 37 on the. 36 and a half. 37. Good fish. About 40 to the, to the tip. Fish. Come on, we want to live. They only get 37s at 1.1 kilo. We'll put him in the well as well. Yeah. That's a lovely big chunky fish. Just on, just a little bit over a kilo. Oh, beautiful fish. Love it. It's not a little fish, but 700. Yeah. Beautiful. Next. See you back to go to the Yeah. How many have we caught today, Will? You're starting to push 40 now. You're 40 fish, are you? Yep. That's not even including the flathead. And that's been, what, about four or five hours of fishing? Day one. That's why we come to Tasmania. That's why we come to Tasmania. Still got to get that big fish, though. All right. Out that. What's a man to do? Oh. Go it's cool to see, but geez, I, want, I just want to catch it. <laughs> that was so cool. What is that? Oh, yeah. Go easy. It's a big fish. It's a real big fish. Oh, oh my yeah, God. Yeah, that's a big one. Yeah, that's a big that's one. That's my PB right there, baby. Oh, my lord. Holy smokes. <laughs> oh, oh, look at it. Look at it. Will, yeah, look that's at it. Donkey. Dude, I'm a little excited. Oh, maybe it's not. Oh, I don't know. Price. It's a good fish, though. Yeah, it's a good fish. All right. Yeah. Yes. yes. <laughs> Yes! Look at yes. him! Oh, yes. that's for PB. <laughs> that's so, that's you reckon that is? Out. Yeah. Okay, he's getting up there. Yes! Holy. Yes! Always, so yeah. He's running along the edge of the rocks. He's coming out and they're just smacking him side on. Look at that brim! Oh my <laughs> lord. Okay. That's a good fish. 
This guy. Damn, this guy. Oh, look at the size of it. Oh my god. 1.4? 1. 1. 1. 1.3, 1. 1.4. Is it? 1. Point, we'll see if it'll settle. 1.38. 1.37. Oh my that's god, <laughs> that's the PB right there. That is a donkey. Yeah, let's just show the scale so you can see that 1.375. And that's after we got the tear weight from the net. the net. Mate, thank you so much. Any day, I mate. I appreciate it. I can't awesome. believe it. Personally, I came here to catch a two kilo one. Yeah, get him in the live world, dude. Yep. I want him to live. Came here to catch a two kilo fish. It still might happen. We've got a day and a half left. But realistically, I just wanted to get a PB because the 1.2 that I caught was probably. 16 years ago so that's very special to me for the species 1.375 nearly 1.4 kilos I gotta I got, I got take a photo of that okay. I've waited I've been catching brim since I was probably 10 maybe 8 and to get it finally get one like this at this age is Super rewarding, absolutely amazing. And Tasmania is the place to do it, I tell you. That's why we came here. That is a special fish, man. To finally catch a PB brim after 16 years feels pretty wicked. But I'm a fisherman, and of course, I want to catch something much bigger. I want to see and hold a big two kilo black brim in my hands. Will did warn me beforehand how slim my chances of achieving this actually are. He's been fishing for brim for the majority of his life and has only caught a handful of fish over two kilos. When you're doing this style of fishing, don't give up on your lure halfway out. Keep twitching, keep twitching, and if the water's clear enough to see your lure, look down and check it out. Because that guy, if he hadn't paused then and you just ripped it in, never would have hey, that's a that great fish. fish. He's a cracker. That was really cool. To watch the eat, it doesn't get any better, does it? Right beside the boat, that is incredible. Solid, that man. Awesome, he's a very solid fish. Yeah, he'd be definitely kilo. Yeah, kilo, every day of the week, kilo, 1.1 maybe. Well done, brother. You. But yeah, that, as you're saying, fish it to the boat. Yeah. Especially when you're up this close to the shore, because if I rip that in, miss that fish and imagine how many times through the day that would happen. Oh that's right you get impatient thinking they're right up on the bank. Well there's nothing to say because you can't say oh I just got a bite. There's nothing to say that that fish didn't follow you all the way from the bank. Exactly right. You know? Most likely would have. Oh wow look at all the brim in there. I can get a cast in here. I want to dart out for it. These things are a part of the salmon farms. They're like a cage that sits in the middle and they haven't been used for years. One's under it. Oh, there's a few. There's a whole stack of them under it. Oh my lord, look at them all. Oh man, there's, there's stacked up. They were not in. Oh, they're, they're coming out. They're just here. Oh my lord. very late in the day now, what have we got? Caught to eight. Still quite a bit of light left actually. And uh, what we'd hoped would be a red hot session here on this big long flat has turned out to be a bit of a dud unfortunately. Uh, yeah, no guarantees in fishing. What might have happened here last week doesn't guarantee that it's going to happen here this week. So with this failing light I'm sticking with top water for a bit because there's nothing quite like it. And Will's going to keep chucking that minnow and right up till dark. Just keep casting. So we've been on the water now for coming on 14 hours <laughs> or 13 hours, whatever it is. We're feeling a little bit toasted, but at the same time, you don't catch them sitting in your hotel room, do you? Exactly right. One cast. That's, That's it. One cast. Speaking of which, that's our hotel just up there. <laughs> How crazy is that? Potentially catching, you know, 
ridiculously big, big brim. 100 metres from 150, 200 metres from our hotel. Insane. So this is our third and final day and we've travelled pretty much as far south as you can, Cassie. Yeah, the end of the road from Tasmania. So it's called Southport and the Loon River. So that's been a really nice part of the last few days is just going to places I've never been before. It's great, man. The exploring your country down here is pretty much as remote as you can get. The scenery, the fishing is just next level, so. Really? Hopefully we can put you onto that big boy, especially on this flats, side casting. Won't be the amount of fish as the last couple of days in the systems, but the average size is up there, so. Average size is much higher, yep. so more bigger fish. Well, that's bigger the whole fish. idea, find that two kilo. What do you think our chances are of finding that two kilo fish? Oh, you're laughing, Will. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, it can happen at any time. You could put in 50 sessions, 100 sessions, not catch one. You could put in one session, bang one, it's just yeah, that's fish, the fact that just go to the systems that have the big fish, increase your chances, but yeah. you're in the country for them, so hopefully. Yeah, I've got to say, it's bloody freezing. Yeah, it's peak summer. This is summer Rain. and it's about 10 degrees and the wind, it's cold. There's nothing out. to you, look at you in your shorts. Oh, it's the only way to go, oh, mate. Oh, the hell. No, but uh, it just looks beautiful too, that water's crystal clear. Just an absolutely beautiful place, and just there's no one down here. Yeah, that was beautiful. <laughs> oh, that was cool. That was very cool. I love that. <laughs> this is the most incredible flat fishing that I've ever seen for Brim. This water is just absolutely cool, clear. And we're watching just little schools of room get around and then to watch them come up and eat it. Oh, look how silver. Fish that. So that is crying. the most silver black brim you'll ever see. <laughs> Gorgeous. It's incredible. It's a nice fish though. Yeah, he is. Mm. Yeah. Jeez, what's the 800? 800 every day of the week. It's an awesome fish. Oh, yeah, yeah, he's come straight up over to it. Seen it, but look at that for a fish. It's chromed up. So people watching this, I'm trying to talk this guy into being a guide, because I guarantee you, there'd be so many people that would want to come down and do this. You should, you've got to be a guide, bro. The chance, it's on the oh, cars. Man. It would be a good career choice. Oh, it'd be a great career choice. You do what you love, and I'll tell you what, I, I just don't think people understand How what's available down here. There's heaps of accommodation, it's pretty cheap. Oh, you've just, you just got to come down and do it. We're going to go in there. Yeah, there should be a couple chilling around them sticks that's good in there, doesn't it? I've just put on a cranker crab because we're seeing these fish and they're sort of just sitting in front of us and they're spooking pretty quickly. But if we spot them and, you know, we'll, we'll spot them like there's no tomorrow, I just throw down that cranker crab. It just sort of sits on the bottom, give it a little tiny little bit of a twitch. That might be a way of getting these guys to eat because they're not eating the minnow at the moment. Getting a bit spooky. We'll see how we go. Those last few fish that we just saw are by far, they'd be my personal best straight away. 1.5, 1.6 kilos. Mark there, see. Look at that bad boy. Oh yeah, look at the stingray. Mm. Another one. Yeah, eagle row. That one's got a tail. It does. So once you did that as a kid, that was pretty much it for you? That you was the yeah, totally start. Totally addicted to it? Never stopped since then, no. It's yeah. just, just improved myself over the years and it's just, yeah, it started off a passion that Fire that cannot be put out. Yeah. No, it's pretty really awesome. I can't imagine how many brim you've caught in this system, yet you still still love it, yeah? Oh, so that one fish to carp and eat, lure just gets me excited as the first brim I've had to come up and do it, so yeah, yeah, right. it will never get old. Yeah, I know the feeling, mate. No. You either, like, I think you're either a freak like us or you're, you're kind of just a wicked. Oh! No. Oh, God. What have you got? Oh, God, don't Salmon. Yeah, salmon. Salmon. Oh, God. 
Got him. Yeah, he doesn't like being locked. Well, you're in a beautiful place, mate. You're very, very blessed to live here. Let me tell you, it is just. Oh, boy. I wouldn't want to live anywhere else. Really? I've moved and lived in a cuff place over the Sunshine Coast and spent a little bit of time over there, but always come back. Yeah. yeah I'll live down here for the rest of my life, I reckon. Yeah, well, mate, it is not a bad place to be, I can tell you. On the board. I broke the, the drought. On the board. On the board. I won't even have to touch him, I think. What that is going to the pin. I don't even have to touch it. Okay. Okay. My lure isn't dipped in petrol. So the last cast in here. Okay. Send him. Those white wings look amazing with that. Oh, look at that. Smashed it. Good one. It's a good one? I think so. Absolutely smashed it. Oh, oh there was no <laughs> a little tentative bite. It hammered it. That was sick. Oh, he's a cracker. Look at him. Oh, oh yeah. Look at him. That's probably, oh, that's, probably the day. that's probably your PV again. You reckon? It'll be getting close, probably getting towards the 1.3 mark. Oh, 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 <laughs> brother, thank you. That hurt. He's not. Good for that. Oh. <laughs> that mate, spotlock is here. Yeah. Which I think you just did. Yeah, mate. Let's give it a quick way. Quick way. Oh, it's getting up there. The your hood's just blown out. Yeah. 1.15, I reckon. What have we got? One. Right. Let's stop in a second. 1.195. Let's call that 1.2 kilos. That was my PB before I came here. Tap it again. Which is just pretty Incredible. cool. Very, very nice fish. Right on the, the, the tides just about all the way out. And they just keep feeding all day long, don't they? It doesn't they seem dead. to matter. Def yeah, dead low tide and they're on there, but look at the colours of that fish. It's a beautiful, beautiful fish, mate. Yeah, well done, mate. Thank you. Get him in the well. Yeah, fish reckon. Yeah. Good day. Yeah. Hi. 20? Yeah, probably a bit more. Like, we did bang lock, like, fucking, you know. Did pull like up to eight fish there, freaking a couple fish here. Yeah, I guess Five, that six fish up, there. Man. Get 20, I don't know, 25, 30 at the most. Here we go now, it's 20 minutes to 6, so 6.30 cut off, eh? By the time we get the boat out, yep. drive all the way back. Unload. Unload, dinner, all that sort of stuff. So, just on an hour, let's say an hour left. Catch right the it. elusive two kilo brim. We can do it. I believe in you, Mark. <laughs> like you do. <laughs> all right, let's that, get going. Still... It looks really fishy. Does. Hopefully they're cruising along here in this flow tide, so. It's big. It's big? Yeah, it's good. Oh yeah, it's a good one. It's a bit better. Stonker. He's a beast. That's a stonker. What's that? Yeah, that'd be... yeah 1.2, 1. Point, yeah, probably 1.2 mark. A yeah. bit better, maybe. <laughs> oh, yeah. Look at it. <laughs> no, wow, a... we literally only have minutes to go, so that's a pretty cool fish to finish on. If that's yeah. the last one. Yeah, that's a proper one, that one. Oh, I'm going to keep casting. Yeah. Only a few minutes to go. That's it from us here at the most southern point 
of Tasmania. This is Will Thorpe, he's a legend. Thank you, mate, for looking after us these last three days. Oh, anytime, mate. I'm glad you come down. And... Being a ball. I've had, I've had an absolute blast. Personal best fish, 1.375. Let's just call it one. No, I don't say 1.4, but you can't oh, do it's it. It's getting can close now. It's very close to 1.4. So, personal best, the two kilo brim. Well, I think we'll just schedule in and come back down same time next year. What do you reckon? It's a good excuse to come back down and try again. Absolutely. All right, we love making these videos for you guys. Subscribe, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Cheers. See you guys. See you, Will. See you, Will. Thanks, Will. Grim legend. You're the grim legend, mate. You're the one who's got big fish this trip. Well, you've caught six over two kilos, and I've caught dick over, <laughs> over two kilos. Well, that's nice. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Oh, oh. Brim? Yep.